Hi everybody, Michael Gaio here, the e-media editor at Athletic Business, and today we're coming to you from Owatonna, that's the heart of Minnesota, and the home of the Cybex Manufacturing Facility. Today we're lucky enough to get the opportunity to head inside the factory and meet up with the folks from Cybex and Ron Hemmelgarn, an international club owner, as he tours the facility. So without any further ado, let's go meet up with Ron. I want to see the quality, the, this facility, the state of the art, the robotics, uh, the consistency of product, uh, all the things that you look for in manufacturing. Uh, I've been in this business for 48 years. Years ago, uh, everything was sort of hand built. But there was no consistency. You, you built one bench press, the next one you built might have been off a little bit from the other one, and so everything was a hand built thing. Today, uh, this plant is totally automated, so the consistency is there. So whether you bought the first bench press or you bought the hundredth bench press, they're all identical, and the only thing that's different is the color that they've put on. Pretty excited about it. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while to come out and see it, and uh, so I guess I'm in for a real treat. factory since 2007. Uh, this factory is uh, 340,000 square feet. That's eight acres under one roof. Very vertically integrated as you can see as we go through a lot of different technologies. Our philosophy at Cybex was to invest in automation and technology to control cost of goods and this factory is a result of that. You can see this is roll forming so the hydraulic uh, uh, pressure on those dies um, all CNC, and it'll put that general radius into that, into that part. Very, very automated. Very automated. They spent a lot, a lot of money on, on uh, these machines to make it automated, and uh, I, uh, I'm very, very impressed. This is some of the uh, more automation. This machine is, uh, this actually is a Mitsubishi, so this is made in Japan. This is a, a flat laser. So I'm sure you've seen this technology oh, yeah. before, but we're we're cutting parts out of it. In this case, it's 11 gauge steel. This is all programmed by the computer, sent wireless to the controller, and then the laser will cut that and probably take uh, probably 20 minutes to cut that sheet out. It's kind of neat. Here's where we're bending, uh, tube bending uh, steel. So what Mike is doing is he's getting ready to put an eagle weight frame into that uh, CNC tube bender. Now you know Eagle has that nice gentle radius on the side of the tube. This is how we put that rate, gentle radius into that straight section of that tube. We call it push bending. So the machine will actually push against that roller as it's drawing it out, and putting a nice cosmetic radius on the edge of that tube. Things I was looking at is, is the welds, for example. Is there consistency in it? Many when they're doing hand welding, you lose your consistency, so it's sort of rough and so on. When we started implementing robotic welding, we retrained our own workforce to run the robots. We sent them to training, they know how to program them, and we instituted our first robotic welder in about 2005. And, uh, and uh, this, is, this is one of them. You can see welding is happening on the other side. Roy's loading and unloading on this side. When Roy's done, he hits a button, and uh, that lets the robot know he's out of the work area, and then when the robot's done, that turntable will turn 180 degrees, and oh, that robot, will, okay. the robot will just keep welding. So it's on the other side. So. Well, what I like, for example, the powder coating. If let's just say you ordered 10 piece, 10 machines, they're powder coating all 10 of those machines in the same run. So you got consistency in your colors and so on. So you can see we got two. Two operators that do the left side, two operators that do the right side. When they want to switch a color, they have 24 colors here to switch in and out of on a push of a button. So we got, we got to hang enough gap so that the powder doesn't drift to the, the previous color, which usually is about a 15 second, half a, half a minute. And they could be going from red to white to blue to green. And each one of those colors has a different line going underneath the concrete for that gun to allow them to have that flexibility. 
So our trainers go on the line on this side, and then as they go down, more components get added to the uh, added to the machine. So you can see these are the insides of your arc trainer. Built like tanks, arc trainers do, do very well in the field, as you know. Yep, um, absolutely. They'll take them one by one, first in, first out. So they'll take the one that's closest to this end, up over the top. You can see he just he just put it onto the arc trainer. He's getting, getting ready to get on the next one, so let's stay out of his way. He just got done doing the operator test on it, and then he, we fully assemble them, and we break them down after we test them for shipment. And uh, this is how they're packaged. You can stack them two high, you can stack them three high in a warehouse. We built this room and also the equipment in it. This is where we do all our own digital printing yep. and we do all our customization decals for our customers that like customization. Yep. In fact, you can see some of the the guys like to put the logo on the wall when they do one. So you can yeah. see we've done a lot for you know, Georgia. There's the Steelers, Redskins. Um, Absolutely. And we do all that here. This is a digital printer here. We've got some... Uh, CNC cutter, yep. we laminate it, we cut it, and uh, this is all implemented in March of 2013. Well, I'm very impressed with the whole operation. I am very impressed with the fact that they're building this stuff uh, to order, moving it through within 10 days from the time they ship, which is quite amazing. They have no excess inventory, and everybody is made to order. They can take and make it any color you want, and they can do it right on the, uh, the uh, spray uh, uh, powder coating. And so we're doing 60 arc trainers a day, 300 arc trainers a week, and this is it for finished goods. I mean, we build them and we awesome. ship them. I think they've done a fantastic job. I've been to a lot of plants. This is very, very, very automated. A lot of expense was put in to build this, but I think they're getting it back in quality control, also in labor costs. Um, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Obviously a very impressive facility here in Owatonna, and we'd like to thank all the folks at Cybex and Ron Hemmelgarn for allowing us and you inside for a great look at a great facility.